In the last video related to today's session, I'm just going to talk about some things that I've learned. So I've picked out uh, some things that I find might be useful to share with you guys. So number one is the very, very most important thing about flipped classroom teaching is to focus on the content. Without the content, you're really not doing very much here. And you want to spend time getting the content of your sessions right for the students that you're working with. As I've already said, thinking about things that you find yourself repeating, um, either to different groups of students or within the year with the same student group. Think about that content that could maybe be best translated into a video that students can access at any time, at any point. The next thing to think about is don't worry. Please don't worry what you look like. Um, whenever I've been thinking about making these videos uh, and making them and showing them to people, one of the things that they're talking about is, oh, well, you know, isn't it strange that you're recorded, you're on camera, you're there for, you know, forever and ever um, recorded online. Think about uh, the way that you present yourself as a lecturer in class, as a tutor. You're just doing the same thing, but that's being recorded. And you'll actually find that students find that a lot more valuable um, than just the contact time that they have in class with you. The next thing is just start. I'm a terrible procrastinator. So something like this might have become a bit attractive to me because it means I kind of put off and put off uh, things to do with making the session. One of the things that I've learned is that you need to work quickly and work to things at the best level that you can. And of course, next year you can always improve, you can always revise things. But really, like with any change that you're making, any thing that you're implementing in your teaching, it's important to just get going, to just try one. The next thing that I'd advise people is to find easy to use technology. Stuff that isn't going to get in your way, stuff that doesn't present a massive learning curve, something that really you can just press record and then do some quick edits and publish online. Um, I just use my laptop, I don't use any special microphone or camera, I'm just using the setup that's on there for my webcam. Um, and as I said before, I'm just using screencast software and PowerPoint and Vimeo. All of those are really easy to use, really easy to implement, and they just mean that you can just get going and do what you're really good at, which is teaching and working with your students. Similarly, it's really, really important to find allies. Loads of people are going to think what you're doing is ridiculous or a waste of time, or maybe are not as supportive as they could be, but you're going to need to find people maybe within your department or uh, within your team, or maybe within your wider contacts um, of other teachers you know, other professionals you know. Find allies who are interested in what you're doing, and that will really help spur you on through the hard work and the, you know, the, the mountain of preparation that you're giving yourself by adopting this way of teaching. One of the really main differences between uh, my preparation for the flipped classroom sessions and what I may have presented before is that I'm really, really now super focused on tasks and the testing of learning. So by this I don't mean things that you need to have handed in or things that are, need to be assessed and graded, but using the time within sessions to focus on active tasks that really test out what the students have gained from the input that you're giving them. You also need to work out what to assess and then stick to this. Because this is going to be a, a more self-paced and self-directed way of learning, you need to be very clear with your students at all times about what you expect and not change those goalposts half the way through. One of the things that I've learned is that 
uh, bringing the tasks that you do in class in to stand as part of the assessment, maybe as part of a portfolio of work that's assessed, can be a really uh, you know, useful way of working out and saving time on what students are doing, how much they're achieving, and what, if they can get the work done in class, all the better. One of the other switches that you will really find in this method of teaching is that you really need to prepare to facilitate. So this is not a method where you send students away to watch videos and then they come back in and they just know this. We, we're not, you know, fooling ourselves thinking that that didactic method actually functions. What we need to do as lecturers within this flipped classroom scenario is really, um, you know, use the skills that we've got in terms of facilitating students' own learning. And part of that is about a more strenuous and rigorous preparation. So this is thinking about schemes of work, thinking about how each session will function and how they all build up towards a whole, how that comes to a point where we're assessing students at the end of a module. Also, this is one of the things that uh, I get most often when I'm sharing this with other people. They're scared that by me uh, making videos of the, th of the lectures that I'm doing for students, that um, then, uh, you know, the powers that be might replace me with the video copies of myself. But integral to this mode of learning, the, you know, the videos are just one part, just like none of us lecturers are replaced by textbooks or television, we're not going to be replaced by the videos that we make. We're, our roles will shift, our roles will become more about the learning community, more about supporting peer-to-peer -peer contact with students. And that's really the thing that students are coming to university for. So the information that we're giving them is usually freely and widely available, but what, what we're giving them is a critical space for discussion and analysis for really working out understanding and testing out and applying the things that they're learning in an environment alongside other people who are doing the same. So if you're worried about this, please don't worry. You're not going to be replaced by a video. I'd like to thank you for watching all of the videos that are associated with this session. And I'll see you in class for a discussion and a breakdown and obviously we'll be working on a task.